Yo guys, what is up? Total Recall Gamers here, and today is going to be an awesome video. It's actually going to be me redoing my old how to create your own YouTube logo for your YouTube channel. Now guys, that video got a lot of views and a lot of support, and I'm so happy that you guys liked that tutorial. But I mean, that was done a year ago, so I've learned so much about GIMP and how to be, you know, create better graphics and stuff. And Today we're going to be redoing that tutorial because I actually commented on that video, you know, like this if you would like to have me redo this for 2016 and one person liked it and even if one person liked it, I know there's still people out there who want to have an updated tutorial on how to make even a better logo. So today we're going to be redoing on how to make your own YouTube logo and it's going to look awesome. So here's a little preview that I did last night and it already looks a lot better than, you know, last year's. So we're going to be adding some new things, but before we get started with this tutorial, guys, you're going to have to have some basic things. One of them is going to be called the program called GIMP. Now, if you don't already have it installed from doing my, some previous tutorials on my YouTube channel, make sure to go install it. The YouTube, uh, the download link, sorry, will be down in the description of my video. And also, you're going to need a little add-in or plug-in for that, and it's going to be called Script Foo. Now that. Uh, if you guys want to know how to install that too, and the download link will be in the description. But if you want a full tutorial on how to install GIMP and Script Foo, they were, it's actually in my old tutorial, and I'll link that down in the description also. But getting started with the tutorial, guys, your first step is going to be opening up GIMP. Now, once GIMP is open, we're going to get right into the action. We're going to be creating you your own YouTube logo, and it's going to look freaking awesome. So the first thing to do is go to File and click New, and then you're going to go to your width, and you're going to set it to 800. And then you're going to set your height to 800. And then you're in advanced options. You want to go down to fill width and then go to transparency and hit OK. Now, this is going to create your base plate for your YouTube logo. Now, just a really quick reminder if you guys don't have any of these boxes and this is all you get on your screen, you can go to Windows, click New Toolbox, and then you can drag this out to be whatever size you want. <clears throat> you can also go to Dockable Dialogs. We'll do Tool Options also. And then another awesome one to use is obviously the layers one, which is pretty crucial. And then from there on, we can start the tutorial. So the first step is going to actually be creating guidelines for your logo so it's all perfectly centered. So we're going to go to image, we're going to go down to guides, and then we're going to hit new guide. Now this is a script foo, I think. So I don't think you'd be able to do this unless you have in, uh, script foo installed. So for the position, we're going to set it to 400 and you can leave it on horizontal and hit OK. Now let's create a guideline straight through the image. We're gonna to go to image once again. We're gonna hit guidelines or guides and then new guide. And then we're gonna to go to vertical and hit okay once again. Now this created the setup for the guidelines. It broke the 800 by 800 pixels into four quadrants. So it's gonna be perfect to snap it. So then the next step is actually gonna creating a new layer. So we're gonna click new layer over here, hit okay. Now you're gonna to go to the toolbox and find the ellipse tool, which is right here. And then you're just going to make a little thing. You're just going to drag it out a little bit. And then what you're going to do is you actually can then just grab this, drag, and then snap it right into the middle. It's going to snap right there. And you're going to fix aspect ratio and expand from center, which isn't that crucial. And then you're going to set the size to 800. Oh, that's actually just a little bit too big. So you know what we'll do is we'll set it to like 780 by 780. And that creates the logo right around the edges, which is perfect. And then we're going to hit, uh, we're just going to leave this open. And then we're going to go to the gradient tool over here. And then we can create, we're going to find two dark grays, one, well, actually a dark gray and a light gray. So we're going to just drag this down and we're going to find like a dark gray. That looks about good. 707070 is the HTML notation. We're going to click OK. And then for the white or the secondary background color, we're going to, we're going to change it to like a lighter gray. And then we'll have the little gradient tool ready to go. So you're gonna click Control on your keyboard. And then you're gonna just uh, hold Control, click and drag your mouse up. And it's gonna create a gradient all the way up. Now, you can do this from any direction. So you can do a gradient from this angle, this angle. But I'm just gonna go straight up and down. It makes it look pretty basic, but it also looks awesome. So then the next step is going to be going actually to the Script Foo tab. Now, once again, you're gonna have to install Script Foo to have this, but you're gonna go to Layer Effects, bevel and emboss and then you're going to go to inner bevel and then the size we're going to just crank this sucker up to about 15 and then we're going to leave all this the same and click merge with layer and then hit okay 
Now what this is doing, this is creating a really cool bevel and emboss effect around the circle, which makes it adds like a 3D dimension effect to it, which just looks absolutely awesome. Now the next step after this is going to be creating your color. So you're going to go to your new layer, you're going to click OK, and then go back to the ellipse tool, and then you're going to select the circle, and then you're just going to drag it, snap it to the middle, and then from there, you're going to select the colors of your channel. Now, my channel is Total Gamers, obviously, and I love the red and black theme. It's like my whole PC setup is red and black, and I would usually do red and black if I was making my own logo, but just to simulate what you guys might make, make or you know what your colors might be, we're going to be doing like a green and a lime color. And then for the acronym, we're going to be doing like tag or whatever your guys' YouTube channel acronym is. So for this, though, we're just going to select like a dark green like right here. That looks good. And then we're going to select the light one. So this one right here, which looks pretty sweet. And then we're going to just drag the circle out, or we actually can just change the size in this menu to make it perfect. And we'll set it to like 700. And then that's just going to create a gr green all the way in there. That's a little bit too big, so you can just mess around with this. Let's do like 680. That looks a little bit better. And then from there, we're just going to fill this in with like a dark green and just leave it at that for now. Now the next step after that, is going to be a new layer. You're going to create a new layer, hit OK. And then you're going to go back to the ellipse tool again. You're going to drag out a circle, snap it to the middle. And then for the size, we'll do like 750 maybe. That's a little bit too big. Sorry. We can actually do like six, I don't know, say 60. That's too small. That's too big still. <laughs> we'll do 640. How about or 630? So you just want to, you know, mess around until you find it to be the right size. We can even do like 620. That looks about good. We'll leave it at 620. So you just want to have a gap of green from here to here to this circle. Because then we're going to be going back to the gradient tool. And then we're going to go to those those dark colors again. We'll click OK. Lighter color. Hit OK. And then we're going to hold Control. Drag up once again. We're going to create another gradient. And then you have your color, your back, your color, and then another front facing gradient which looks pretty awesome now from this one what we're going to do is we're going to go to script through layer effects bevel and boss once again and we're going to leave all these settings on the same actually we can just hit merge with layer and then you can see it create another bevel and boss effect which looks awesome and then from here we're going to add our acronym slash logo name so from for my experience i'm just going to write the word tag or the acronym tag and then we're going to change the color to that green again, which is fine. And then we're going to set the font size to be pretty freaking big. We're also going to change the font uh, style to Bauer. Now, Bauer is a font I downloaded off defonts.com. So this won't be this won't come with GIMP. You're going to have to install it off of defonts.com if you want it. And to install a font off defonts.com, all you have to do is go to the website and then find a font you like, and there will be a download button. Click the download button, it will download a zip file to your computer, and then you're going to have to extract the files to your desktop, and then find that font style, right-click it, and then download as administrator, I think, and then it will download, and then you're going to have to reopen GIMP for it to load and work properly, and then you'll be able to find it in this little selection bar. If not, you're going to have to use one of the default fonts. So uh, one of them that I actually like is Gotham Medium. It's pretty good, but... We're just going to leave it on Bauer, and then we're going to change the font size to be pretty big. We'll do like 235, I think is appropriate. And then we're going to use the Move tool, and we're going to move it so that the, the G and the T connect with the circle. So there's still a little bit of gap right there, so we're going to have to make it just a little bit bigger. So right about there, 238 seems to be a good size. And then we're going to just center this as best as we can. So that looks about good. And then from this step, this is where it's going to look pretty awesome. So we're going to go back to the tag, actually, and we're going to hit right click. And then we're going to hit merge down. And we're going to select this layer then. And then we're going to hit merge down. And then you're going to create this layer, this big layer, that's going to have your green background, your lettering, and this one. And if you click the little eye, you can see that kind of it just turns on and off. But from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the fuzzy select tool in the toolbox. And then we're going to hold shift, so click shift and hold it, and then tap on the T. What you can do is actually you can just tap this and it's going to select it all, but then you're going to have to hold shift and then add the A to it. And then from there, we're going to go to the gradient tool once again, and then we're going to select those colors you want. 
and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna have the lime green and the dark green and we're gonna hold control and what from we can do is like from this corner down we can create like a really cool gradient effect so it's gonna have like the lighter lime green and the dark green kind of merge into one and it's gonna look absolutely a baller so from here we can go to the fuzzy select tool click off the screen it's gonna deselect it so that already looks really really cool but another really cool thing we can do is we can actually go um, here once again and then we can actually we can go back to doing the gradient and then what we can do is we can go to script foo layer effects and then we can do inner shadow or actually sorry inner glow and we're going to select this to black we're going to merge with layer and we're going to set the size to be like seven and that creates like a cool black layer around the circle which looks absolutely awesome and then from here with this still selected we can go back to the gradient tool hit control and then bring it down and that's going to create that awesome awesome effect and it seemed to have removed the black so from here after doing that you can go script foo layer effects inner glow and hit ok there we go and now that looks pretty awesome so you can deselect that and then there is your logo it looks pretty pretty baller so that's about it for the tutorial now all you have to do from here is save it and have it ready for YouTube so to save it all you have to do is you're gonna go to file and you're gonna hit export as you're gonna name it YouTube logo or whatever you want it to be named and leave it at PNG because that will remove that will keep the background off which is good and then we're gonna go to desktop export as and just leave these all as background which is fine and hit export and there you go guys now if you minimize GIMP you can see that there you go you have your tag logo and it looks absolutely freaking baller so it's actually right here there's your tag logo which looks absolutely awesome now if you guys liked this tutorial make sure to like comment and subscribe for more awesome tour recall gamers content coming out on the channel make sure to go check out my top five of the week series and my all my other awesome videos including some unboxing videos and my review and analysis of g fuel now if you guys are interested in that make sure to go check it out the link will be down in the description for that video other than that guys thanks again for viewing today's video and i will see you guys in a later video